more.
Now that we're done, get out there and put up some shots. Let's do this! Are you ready for the final weekend of season six? Aboard the Concha del Mar, make your way to the brand new event, Power Up. Five on five gameplay, awesome rewards. This event has everything. Meanwhile, represent your affiliation at Rival Day because we're crowning the new champions of the city. So whether you're a knight, viper, wildcat, or beast, I better see you out there. That's it for me. I'll see you in season seven. welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And it's a serious look this Indiana team had as they arrived at the arena, getting set to do battle on enemy turf. View from the top of the Empire State Building in Midtown Manhattan, just a couple of blocks away from our location here in New York City. This series already at two games to nothing. A lot to play for tonight. This is the Eastern Conference Semifinals. And tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up at Alley, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Ali, wouldn't that be something? And now the Indiana Pacers starters. Sabonis and Turner work together inside. Then there's T.J. McConnell. Then it's T.J. Warren. And it's the chosen one. In at the two-guard spot. And for New York, Barrett plays the small forward with Randall in at the four. 
Kemba Walker's out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Noel in at the center. You look at Indiana, after taking care of business in the first two games, a win here on the road would probably clinch the series. Yeah, if they go up 3-0, it's likely finished. But I expect they'll face a much tougher challenge tonight. A team with its back against the wall in a hostile crowd. Most nights, this shot would have been his. But the defender gave him just enough trouble. Here's the chosen one. Checked by Randall. Here's Sabonis. The shot misses. Excellent D there from Noel. Randall can't hit. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Pass to the chosen one. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. The defense, no fighting through the pick, no rotation. My goodness, Barrett into the lane. Oh, a rim rattling two handed jam. This guy can finish with either hand. What a finish from RJ Barrett. Here's the chosen one. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. <laughs> Wasting no time matching the slam with one of their own. Showing some serious fight right there. Quickly outside. Walker passes to Barrett. Here's Quickly. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Walker passes to Barrett. To the inside. Here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. And he goes right after the guy who just scored on him. Oh, he made sure to return the favor. Pass to the chosen one. That's his first person. First team foul. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And Nerland's Noel picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. That's already this guy's second foul now. He's either going to have to sit or play a bit more conservatively. And the Knicks making a change here. Henson's checked in. Shot clock at six. Here's the chosen one. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And he makes the first. Perfect from the line this time. New York trailing. Outside Walker. Down low. Henson, good. Now this is a young man who's really grown as a passer. If the defense overcommits, Kemba Walker will make you pay. Outside Warren. Back to McConnell. Pass to the chosen one. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. McConnell against Walker. To the paint. Here's Randall. Kicks it to quickly. 
And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Olivia Crandall can do a little bit of everything. That's a great find to get his teammate an open look. Here's the chosen one. Checked by Randall. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. The Knicks have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Barrett finds Randall. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Well, the strength of Julius Randle is an obvious asset. This guy, despite being undersized, is able to finish through contact. Going inside. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Ooh, putting on a show for the fans. Going up with a graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Grant. <laughs> no problems knocking that one down. Quickly's got five points. The very definition of an unselfish star. Kemba Walker doing work with the pass. Driving inside. Got it. He had no answer defensively inside. New York has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Pass to Penson. Oh, stolen by Turner. Who poked away. Walker with a steal. Fast break. New York. Here's Randall. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Here's the chosen one. He's got 16. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. The Knicks have got six of ten attempts to fall. And here's Walker. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And it's quickly with a miss. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's the chosen one. And the layup is good off the glass. Well, yet another selfless play from Miles Turner. Pretty pass to his teammate. The Knicks shooting 55%. An ideal start so far. Walker against McConnell. Walker's shot is off. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? He's checked in for Randall. Fournier comes in for quickly. And Rose is subbed in for Walker. Barrett finds Rose. Inside. On the wing, Fournier. He's checked by Levert. Six on the shot clock. They need this. That one off the back iron and out. So it's the Pacers now. They lead by 11. Right side Lamb. Over Toppin. Poke loose. Brissett uses the glass oh, on the layup. Brissett, their offense looking like a well oiled machine. Rose outside. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. That is vintage Derrick Rose, right? Get separation off the dribble and finish the move. Nice. Levert outside. Pass to Lamb. Here's Brissett. Here's Brogdon. Guarded by Rose. To the middle. Here's Brissett. And there's the rejection. And here we go. The Knicks in transition. Unloads from 13. 
Second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. To me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. The bird left side. And he got the whistle on the way up. Oh. Almost an entire new group here. Noel, he's checked in for Pinson. Randall comes in for Toppin. Quickly is checked in for Barrett. And it's Walker in for Rose. It's stolen by Warren. Now the Pacers on the move. Bullock and Randall make up the two forward spots. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Kimba Walker. And it's Noel in at the center position, locking down the middle. That's the five for New York right now. Hi, guys. Well, the chosen one in their last game against the Knicks was outstanding. He had 57 points and shot the ball extremely well from both the field and the line. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. Okay, Allie, thanks. Well, that was an incredible night for him. They rode him to that win. Yeah, he was more than happy to carry the B.A. He might still be feeding off that performance heading into this one. Well, there's no doubt. He certainly looked like he was enjoying himself in that last game. He had his offense flowing. Oh, wasted no time on that one. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Pass to the chosen one. He takes it in. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Boy, he's been unconscious this quarter. I love the confidence he's playing with. For New York, they've gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Walker passes to Randall. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. Walker's got four assists now tonight. Boy, I love the confidence Julius Randall has in himself. This guy knows what it takes to score. Here's the chosen one. Guarded by Quickly. On the take. And it's stolen by Noel. Fast break. New York. And it's Randall with the jam. Well, that's what you call wingspan. Nerland's Noel is so long and so effective, poking the ball away and getting the break started. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. Quickly from outside. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got a rebound number five here tonight. Drives to the hoop. <laughs> it takes a lot of confidence and ability to pull off that reverse. Hey, from anyone else, it'd be shocking. But this guy, he's got it. He's that talented. Walker passes to Fournier. It's Walker on the wing. He's marked by McConnell. Outside for Randall. Clock at six. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They are definitely not losing because of him. And he drives in, the chosen one. And he banks in the layup. He's got 32 points. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Back to quickly. Outside Walker. Three-pointer. Warren with the rebound. Indiana's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Here's the chosen one. Not going to go that time. New York has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Shot from 12. And Fournier with the basket. On the assist by Quickly. Fournier's got four points this quarter. Pass to the chosen one. Inside, here's Turner, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. And for the Knicks, they're shooting around 50% in the game so far. 
Pass to quickly. Three pointer. The first half. The shot comes out. So Indiana will take it the other way. Here's the chosen one. Excellent D there from Noel. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop them, and that's never an easy task. Quickly against McConnell. Walker for three. He hits that one. Two for five now. That is some big-time range from Kemba Walker. The stroke is just so pretty. Pass to the chosen one. And we've got 118 left to play in the second quarter. The fader. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Nick's shooting the rock well in the second quarter. 55% from the floor. Here's quickly. Tries again. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Pacers. They've pounded the ball inside in the first half. Forcing the defense to collapse. That could free up shooters going forward. But something else they've done a good job of tonight. And so it's Indiana in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. They just can't miss right now. Every shot they're taking, you assume, is going in. Time for a quick break, then... And welcome back, folks, for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. Second half underway. Here's who Rick Carlisle's got on the floor. Warren and Sabonis, the duo at forward. Then there's Miles Turner. Then there's T.J. McConnell. And it's the chosen one. In at the two. Here's the chosen one. Guarded by Quickly. Oh, a dunk and a foul! A powerhouse move. He's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to go on Nerland's Noel. And the Knicks shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Walker passes to Randall. Back to Walker. Here's the teardrop. Warren with the rebound. And for the Pacers, their shooting has been incredible. 72%. The chosen one shot is good. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Now Walker. To the paint. Here's Randall. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, with his strength, Lucas Randall can absorb contact easier than a lot of players. This guy is not going to be intimidated. First one falls for him. At the line, two shots. It's both from the stripe. Indiana on offense. 17-point game. Here's the chosen one. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Here in the second half, they've just found better shots. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Randall finds quickly. Launches a three. And again, the Knicks missing. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. The chosen one. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Emmanuel quickly. He took the contact and had an opportunity to train. And he knocks down the first one. At the line, two shots. And good on the second, so he makes them both. For New York, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Down low. Here's Randall. Second shot opportunity. That one doesn't drop. Sub bonus with some nice D. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. And it's blocked by Noel. We know Noel Miles is a Turner. superb shot blocker. It may be his best attribute. 
Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. They get it back. Here's Randall, and that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Pass to the chosen one. Five to shoot. And a two-handed jam! You know, they barely needed other contributions. This lead has been built through his offense. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Quickly from outside. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Sabonis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Doing more work in the peanut area. He has really excelled inside. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. To the inside. And Noel hammers it down. At his size, you simply cannot give up that kind of deep positioning to Nerland's Noel. Here's the chosen one. He has 45 points. There's the double team quickly. Outside Warren. There's the three. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got four rebounds now. The Knicks have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Walker against Sabonis. Nice shot by Walker. Walker's got eight. How about the outstanding concentration from the veteran? Kemba Walker so adept at staying in control through these finishes. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Here's Walker. Here's Noel. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Here's the chosen one. Non-stop scoring machine right here. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. A difficult situation for New York. Outside Walker. On the wing quickly. Offline with a three. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Here's the chosen one. Six to shoot. Takes it inside. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first person. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Pacers. When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken it. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. In the second half, their free throw percentage has improved, hitting in the low 80s now. And that's a foul called on T.J. McConnell. That's his first foul of the game. Garris LaVerne's checked in for Indiana. Substitution for the Pacers, Karis LeVert. Now here's Rose. He's got six. Barrett can't hit. Here's the chosen one. Rose grabs the board. New York has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's the chosen one. And it's out of bounds to Indiana. Greg is checked in for Turner. Substitution for the Pacers, Tory Craig. Here's the chosen one, guarded by Rose. Driving in, the chosen one. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style, that was sweet. Pass to Toppin. Rose with it. Outside Fournier. And again, another missed shot. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. You know, they continue to feed him the ball, and he keeps delivering the leading scorer in this one. 
New York shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Outside Barrett. Pass to Fournier. Here's Toppin. Defended by Craig. Clock at six. Here's Rose. And he comes up with a bucket. Rose has got eight points. Well, you love the attitude of Derrick Rose. You want to play great defense? No problem. I can still finish. Here's the chosen one. The shot won't fall. Good D by Rose. Nick's shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Here's Barrett. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That's his second personal. It's going to be on Karis LeVert. Once R.J. Barrett the sees the defense minutes. commit, he R. goes J. right Barrett. into attack mode and gets himself a trip Two to the shots. free throw line. That is Substitution here for New York. Noel, he's checked in for Pinson. Randall comes in for Toppin. Quickly is checked in for Barrett. And it's Walker in for Fournier. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Indiana has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. They've got Emmanuel quickly. Julius Randall out there with Nerland's Noel. Then there's Derrick Rose. And it's Walker in at the one. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Let's it go from deep. The Knicks rebound. Randall, good. Randall's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, you love to see Julius Randall attack the offensive glass, get to his second chance opportunities. That's really well done. Here's the chosen one. Noel covering. And a solid pick to free him up for the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Walker for three. Offensive rebound. Can't get it to drop. The Pacers have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Into the lane. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his fourth personal. 13 He's off on the first. Whatever they discuss at halftime, he's come out more assertive and more aggressive. Demonis Sabonis, he's checked in for Indiana. For New York, they've gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Pass to Walker. Quickly, outside. Shot clock at six. Now Rose. Uncovered. And it falls all over the rim and in. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Pass to the chosen one. Here's Sabonis. Tries yet again. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get the bucket. Domantas Sabonis has the ability to keep possessions alive. He's crafty getting position, gets to the offensive window. That's nicely done. To the middle. Randall inside, working on Sabonis. Oh, Sabonis with a block. Here's the chosen one. Walker covering. Turner in the high post. Here's the chosen one. Back to Turner. And it's blocked by Noel. Fast break. New York moving it up. Here's Rose. Finished off the break. Rose has got 10 points here in the second half. Another one for Derrick Rose. This is a flashback to when he used to do this on a nightly basis. Here's the chosen one. And a strong finish with two hands. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. 
Walker against McConnell. Outside Walker. Quickly from outside. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Here's the chosen one. Guarded by Quickly. Inside. Shots good by Sabonis. Sabonis. Sabonis has got four points this quarter. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. And here's Noel down low. And it's Quickly. That time on the assist by Noel. Quickly's got 21 points in the game. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Here's the chosen one. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And that one is hammered home. He throws it down with two hands. You know he won't mess that up. Not this guy. He is a big-time finisher. Rose outside. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Here's the chosen one. And again, 60 points. This guy can't be stopped right now. They've had no answer for him in this one. I just love the strong finish there inside. Man, he's got that dunker's mindset, doesn't he? Always ready to pounce. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. And that'll wrap up game three. Now we'll look ahead towards an important game four for the Pacers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And with their performance tonight, you have to think this series is all but over. It's impossible to see it any other way. And I don't think it's going to get past game four. If this doesn't end in a sweep, I'll be shocked. To the paint. Here's Randall. Quickly from outside. The shot that time not on target. So Indiana will take it the other way. Here's the chosen. And it's good. He hits another one. You see how easily he's getting buckets? To be this hot must be a heck of a feeling. Man, and get this. He's now tied for the third most points in a playoff game ever. Boy, T.J. Warren showing some activity on the defensive end. Great timing on that block. Pass to the chosen one. He got it again. Sensational. And he's now tied the all-time mark for points in a playoff game. Boy, he's been cooking since the opening tip. And they've been powerless to slow him down. Now Walker. And so Indiana takes this one by a big margin. And now that they're up 3-0, winning this whole series is well within their grasp. You think it's only a matter of time, but the postseason is all about expecting the unexpected. They need to stay focused and finish strong. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you later.
NBA 2K TV. Welcome back. Well, we are in the thick of the NBA playoff season. I don't know about you all, but I love it. It's almost like Christmas every single night. And if you've been paying attention to the playoffs, get ready to earn some easy VC. That's right, because it's time for 2K TV Interactive. All questions this week are brought to you by Kia, the official automotive partner of the NBA. All right, here's one to get you started. Who was the only team to earn a sweep in the first round of this year's NBA playoffs? Was it the Bucks, the Celtics, the Suns, or the Warriors? Here's a tip. If you answered LD2. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Coming up moments from now, the venue in the heart of downtown New York City. The Pacers taking on the Knicks. For Indiana, just two losses so far in the playoffs. They're determined to continue their dominant play tonight. Knicks, Pacers. Round two continues up next. Game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals set to go. Welcome fans to the postseason of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our DA it's all. Well, Kevin, one of the great stories is Julius Randle becoming an all-star in New York. Randle said it's been a lot of hard work paying off as a shooter, a passer, a leader, you name it. I've gotten to flip the script on my own reputation while also helping with this larger thing we have going, changing the reputation of our entire franchise. Mission accomplished, Kevin. Yep, he's big enough to handle it. His performance speaks loudly. Thank you, D.A. You look at Indiana. And they can put an end to this series in no time tonight, Greg. And that's got to be the approach that they take mentally. When you've got a team facing elimination, don't even give them a glimmer of hope. Put your foot oh, down good. right away, close it out, and get a nice rest before the conference finals. You're right. Don't give them any hope. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. In the post, it's Sabonis and Turner. T.J. McConnell is out there with the chosen one, and it's Lamb at the small forward. Right. And for New York, in the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. Yeah. Emmanuel yeah. quickly out there That's with Kemba Walker, That's and it's Noel in at the five. Here's the lob to Sabonis. It's stolen by Randall. And here's the fast break. Randall leading it all the way. Kept alive. And it's set back by Turner. Man, the defense of Turner is astounding. I mean, he positioned himself well to come up with a lot of blocks. Here's the chosen one, quickly covering. Here's the chosen one, and that one is stuffed right through. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate, and that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Now the pass to Noel. I might have to reset the end there. Walker against McConnell. He had stolen by Lamb. And they saw the issue. A little over a minute gone here in the first Damn. quarter. They are triple time to go. Here's the chosen Damn, one. Guarded color, by Walker. That's Snatched up. It's a bonus. Lays it up off the glass. Oh, boy, one of the things that stands out with DeMontis Sabonis, this guy is high energy all the time. He's a relentless glass eater. Hey, uh, Mr. Randall. Better, first 130 gone here in the first quarter. Walker with a clean Walker. look. No good with the triple. The Pacers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Pass to the chosen. Inside goes straight to the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Nerlens Noel. Shooting. One of the attributes Sabonis has is he's excellent at drawing fouls. I mean, even when the contact happens, he doesn't let it affect his shot. New York's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And there's the foul. It'll go on T.J. McConnell. 
That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Yep, that one goes. Finally, after all those planks, someone comes through for him. Well, you knew it eventually was going to happen. I mean, my goodness, a tight start to this one. Maybe that'll ignite some more buckets to be made. Oh, taking it to the rack with power and hammering down the two-hand slam. You're really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Walker the pass to quickly. Now here's Randall. Oh, like at six. Here's Barrett. There's Noel. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul goes against Indiana. And when it comes to the paint, Noel owns it. He really takes on any defender head on. And as a result, gets a lot of foul calls because of his aggressiveness. And he makes both free throws. Here's McConnell. Passes it to the chosen one. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Uses both hands to slam it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Quickly kicks to Barrett. Some nice passing by New York here. Noel passes to Quickly. Basket counts. Taking it up strong against size. That was kind of good though because I can, you know, set more late. So I become great. Okay. Come on now, this is some bull now. How the hell are they catching up? Yo, got the first nail. I see Jerry Rowe now, okay. But still, come on, dog. Come on, dog. Yeah, I'm trying to hear that. And so, here is New York. Trailing by four. Sharing the wing spots. Fournier and Barrett. Noel is out there with Toppin. And yeah. it's Rose in at the point guard position. That's the five the for New York right now. Fournier's shot is off. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone a rock. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Hi, guys. Yeah. The chosen one in the last game against the Knicks was outstanding. Ah. He finished with 66 points. And that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. When you look at the stat sheet, he was mind-blowing. It's hard to imagine he can follow it up tonight with that same level of production. Kevin, we'll see. Yeah, David and stretches, he was absolutely done. Great, he'd love to match that performance tonight. Yeah, this team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure. And draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Here's the chosen one, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And really, the defense foul in there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the New York Knicks. It's a five-point game. Step back shot. Craig pulls it in. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down yeah, yeah, when he is that open. Oh, man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Knicks have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Fournier dishes to Rose. And here's Barrett. He's got seven outside Fournier. Shot clock at six. Okay. Noel trying to break loose. No good with the layup. Pacers leading by seven. And there's the pass to Warren. 
Here's the chosen one. Here it comes. Like Here's the chosen one. He's got 10. Oh. Off with the layup. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Knocked away. Yeah. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. Over to the wing. Oh, Stolen man. by Rose. Outside Fournier. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Next ball. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Now, here's Barrett. It's blocked. They recover it. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. Yeah, and that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm. Probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any kind of yeah, And if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who you know. Rose in the post. Craig defending. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That's and a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Indiana. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters for the goal. They also haven't been afraid to take it strong to the hoop early on tonight. I like that. Here's the chosen one. He's covered by Rhodes. Craig can't get it to go. Next trail by five. Fournier passed to Barrett. Man. Oh. Outside Rose. Back to Barrett. Clock is at three. Teardrop shot. It's deflected, okay. and they're able to recover. They retain possession. Noel. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Here's the chosen one. He's got 12. Pass to Craig. And stolen by Noel. And a fast break now for New York. Count it, and the basal lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Barrett. Yeah, the clever Frenchman. Fournier solid at recognizing when the defense isn't covering one of his teammates. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. They want that intensity to carry over from that victory on Friday. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. And it was funny, the road arena didn't bother them at all. They stayed locked in, focused, and executed, and got it done. For the Knicks, Julius Randle's checked in for Toppin. Quickly comes in for R.J. Barrett. And it's Kemba Walker in for Derrick Rhodes. Here's the chosen one. Sabonis trying to get open. Sinks it in the shot from the chosen one. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. That's a two-pointer from Walker. And that one hits back iron. Pacers leading by five. Here's the chosen Hello. one. He's got 14. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficiently. Here's Fournier. You know, I wipe the leg off, man. I thought it was clean or not. Come on. Got spots all over and speckles and stuff like that. And little holes and dang days and.
Bon, comme donc, hein? On va tout le bien que ça, on pourrait. Pour ce truc, oui. That's a piss by a pit one. Oh, that was a high thing. Okay, that was good. Two oh, free throws oh. coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's going to go on to the bonus. Out of France, the sharp shooting Fournier. Important player to this team because of his scoring ability. Fournier. The Knicks making a. Come on, man. This series is over. Hey, no more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shaquille Randall getting it done for the New York Knicks. That quarter had to take a little bit. Oh my God, wait a minute. Get a Knicks win it. Oh no. No cut. No cut. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference semifinals. What can you say? Play the play chosen one, an impressive effort here today. In that first half, he was a hot knife. Uh -huh. and the uh -huh. defense was butter, sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My you know, question is this. Yeah, Who's he going to posterize in this half? Uh -huh. You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy oh. dunks out of him. And so in the game for the Pacers. Lamb and Warren at the three oh, and the four. The chosen one out there with T.J. McConnell, and it's Turner in at the five. First team. The creative finishing ability of Randall draws a lot of fouls. And Indiana making a change here. Sabonis is checked in. Two shots. And so he hits both. Pacers trail by seven. Here's the chosen one. And there's the drive, and it is pushed down with a nice jam. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Well, that might be fair, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on, no matter how you decide to frame it up. And it's quickly missing. The Pacers shooting 49% on the game. I'll take that. Here's the chosen one. Garrett covering. Oh, an impressive oh, move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Quickly the pass to Walker. Oh, Over McConnell. Right. They grab their own miss. Noel finds Randall. Noel trying to break loose. Randall with the bucket. Randall's got 16. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in the game. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. McConnell against Walker. Pass to quickly. And here's Randall. Lays it up and in on a nice reverse. And that's 18 points for Julius Randle. For Randle, another bucket. Continues to expand his offensive game. Drives to the hoop. And the rejection oh, by Noel. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. There's Walker with the three. The Pacers pull it in. Sabonis has got four rebounds in this game. It's really surprising that they're up at this point, given that he struggled so mightily. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. And the chosen one gets the whistle that time. That'll be his third foul so far. Rose is checked in for New York. Coming on to the floor for your New York Knicks, Derek Rose. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Barrett. The kick out to Rose. Quickly with a wide open look. New York, uh, no good on. that time either. Oh, God. It's just, it's not there right now with this team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Noel against Turner. Back to Rose. Oh it's my rebounded God. by oh Indiana. 
Here's the chosen one. 26 points for him. Now Randall passes it to Barrett. Yeah, deep. Hello. And here is quickly. And the call will be against Sabonis. That will be foul number five on him. It is clear he's been a little out of control here tonight. The refs clearly have their eyes on him, and that's number five. Toppin, he's checked in for Julius Randle. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. TJ and there's the foul. It'll go on TJ McConnell. That'll be his second foul of the game. And it's still early in the period, TJ. And they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Warren's checked in for Sabonis. Quickly the pass to Noel. Six to shoot. A three. And it's quickly missing. And on an open look like that, he's very open at making the weak coverage play. And he put some anger behind that one. You're telling me. Uh, Treated the rim like it stole something from him. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for New York. They trail by one. Noel up top. Turner covering. Here's Rose. Count it from 12. You know, one of the things you can't allow Rose to do, guys, is to find his comfort zone from there because he'll get into a rhythm and torch you. Back to McConnell. The pass to the chosen one. Driving to the basket. And a strong finish with two hands. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. And he should be. I mean, remove all doubt. Get it down, hard, and simple. And Noel gets it quickly. Off target from outside. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Pass to Duarte. Indiana moving it around. Here's the chosen one. Eric covering. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. No question about it. He's very comfortable in the air. Dunks like that, no problem for him. Pass to Noel. Got a piece of it. Barrett with the ball. He's got nine. Passes it to Quickly. Bangs on the trifecta. Wow. Quickly's got the game tied up here for New York. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. The chosen one passes to Warren wow. and is born with the jam. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. It's perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. And here's Rose. And Conte's oh. on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. When Rose is attacking, guys, I mean, the defense has to act. He puts them on their heels. Whoa. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pacers. Well, I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. Yeah, but I also like the balance because they're doing a great oh, okay. job of getting inside and converting around the rim. I, I really like their aggressiveness. Now, here's Barrett. Deft touch on the alley-oop. Third quarter here, and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Here he goes, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Four Pacers have gone four of six so far for the one. Missing a couple. First free throw is good. Randall's checked in for top. 24 at the line. Two shots. Both free throws good from the chosen one. New York trailing. Rose passes to Pinson. Off the back door. Outside Fournier. And the Knicks hit again from deep. That's Fournier special. The long distance bomb that really hand ties defense. 
is the chosen one. He's guarded by Fournier. Ah, that one is hammered home. Just a terrific all-around scoring effort from him. I mean, it's because of that that they're uh -huh. even in this game. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put right. the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're yeah. trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. Barrett kicks to Fournier. A three-pointer off the mark. 137 left in the third quarter. Here's the chosen one. He's guarded by Fournier. Down low. Here's Turner. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. It's his first one. Julius Randle picks one up. Six foot 11 and 243 pounds. Turner is physically imposed. He's a big man, though, with a delicate shooting touch from outside. The Knicks making a switch here. Walker's checked in. Yeah, that's a big miss right there. Now only a one point lead. Well, he's an absolute blur. Derrick Rose, cat like quickness. Indiana trailing here. Here's the pass to the chosen. Driving inside. Rebounded by Pinson. Pinson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outside Fournier. Walker finds Fournier. To the paint. Here's Randall. And Randall throws it down. Oh, what a throwdown by the well-built 6'9", Julius Randle with power. Pacers trail by three. Here's the chosen one. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. 32 seconds left in the third. Here's Pence. He dishes it to Walker. Here's Fournier, back to Walker. Five to shoot. Misses from short range. Oh, Blavert. Pass to the chosen. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Come on, that man. one, no good. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Knicks lead by three. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. Catch up, get it over with. No muck, no relish. And out of here. Why do y'all put them on the game? Let's get them on. Come on. Okay. Substitution for the next. Quickly comes in for Fournier. Indiana also making some changes. Miles Turner is checked in for one. The chosen one comes in for Karis LeVert. And it's TJ McConnell in for Malcolm Brockman. Kemba Walker is out there with Derek Rose. Then it's Randy. Then there's Nerland's Noel. And it's quickly in at the three, the small forward. That's the five for New York right now. Outside, Walker. Outside, Rose. To the inside, Randall nails the baby hook. That's now 22 points for Julius Randall. He's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Next trail by 14. Walker taking his time here. Pass to quickly. Pacers up, with the rebound. Here we go, boy. Oh, got rebound number five here tonight. Passes to the chosen. There's the killer two-handed slam. 
Haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness. In it. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of this caliber. Here's Randall. Over McConnell. And there's Randall on the assist by Rose. Rose has got his third assist on the night. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. Here's the chosen oh. one. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Walk through the pass to Rose. Count it. Good. Rose has got 11 points here in just the second half. I didn't think Rose would back down from some contact now, did you guys? Playing with a high level of intensity. Here's the chosen one. He's covered by Rose. Yeah, so the shot's good from the chosen one. And guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for Indiana. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And tonight's win really a reflection of how dominant they have been all series long. The four-game sweep. Yeah, I don't think they expected to pull off such a decisive win, but they had the momentum all series long. Time now, they get to move on. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was. For the chosen one. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Oh. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency. Huh. They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. And, and it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Oh, man, it's very low. Lamb against quickly. Quickly we move. Six on the shot clock. Here's Randall. It's good. This time the assist from Rome. There's your bully ball right there. I mean, a lot of folks think that's all Randall is, is a bully baller. But those big shoulders and that muscular body, he does a nice job putting them to use. Here's the chosen one. Fades away. And the Indiana Pacers will move on. And with the four-game sweep, they steamrolled their way through round two. Now, yeah. Greg, they head to the conference finals on the highest of notes. And to that point, Kevin, I really feel like this team is playing their best basketball of the season. They're going to have some downtime before the next round, but as well as they're playing, probably wish this thing would start tomorrow. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For David Aldridge, Greg... All right. Let's take some questions. So how does it feel to finish this team off and move on to the conference finals? Yeah. Come on, Frank. We just getting started, baby. Yeah, we just this team started. is primed and ready to be unleashed. Look, that other squad, they ain't got no idea what's coming. You no. saw us out there tonight, man. When we yeah. play like that, it's not a team out there that can touch us in this league. Well, this is what right. I see. Your opponents in the conference finals look pretty formidable themselves, though. Look, you don't get this far by luck, but we're ready. Yeah, There's no ready. flukes in the playoffs. Anyone can go for a hot game, you know what I'm saying? But to make it to the finals, you got to win four out of seven. And that's going to take sustained excellence and commitment. I'm confident we're ready. Yeah. Well, okay, so I hear Jalen Rose says you're his favorite to win the NBA title now. Now, what does that mean to you? Means a lot. Look, right? Frank, it's humbling. And it just reflects how expectations for this team have been raised, you know? We expect to win championships. Anything less than that would be considered a disappointment at this point. Yeah, but isn't that setting yourself up to fail, though? Come on, Frank. That's how losers think. Winners don't believe in failure. That's why it always comes as a shock, you know? You saw the other team tonight. The ones who weren't surprised when they lost, guess what? They used to losing, Frank. Yeah. Okay, we good? They can lose. Thank you.
Ouais, oui, d'un autre cabana. Ok. And uh, uh, we're moving on to the look. Good news, we've got another meeting with Gateway to renegotiate the terms of your contract. I've had preliminary talks with the people, and they are highly motivated to keep you in the Gateway family. We are looking at tremendous deal. We're looking at a tremendous, tremendous deal here. Okay, looking forward to the upcoming meeting. All the best, Diane. Okay, Diane, this is what I got to say to you, Diane. Okay. Um, I understand that you want me to meet with Gatorade, um, become the mogul that I am, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna accept their offer, and we're gonna keep it pushing. Okay, nothing less, no more, nothing less. Okay, so that's how it's going down. Okay, that's how it's going down, Diane. I don't want to hear nothing else out your mouth. Okay, what's the criteria? Three, twenty-five. We lost three still. Okay, double doubles. Three, five, double doubles. So I pick three of them. Okay, we got that one. Um, twenty points, ten rebounds. Uh, good. Uh, sis. Yeah. Okay. Then Luke Copes Delic Diane agrees. My turn. Okay. Great job at the Mobile One event yesterday. I'm told. Uh, everyone involved was thrilled with. How things went, building this sort of goodwill with your partners can only lead to more opportunities. It's an exciting time. And oh, 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 by the way, stop by the purchaser's desk in the ship library to pick up your money. Looking forward to seeing you. Beth, Diane, Diane is my publicist. So, okay. So now y'all see, man, we have moved on to the second round, or third round. In these 2020 some play playoffs. Okay, so, oh, yeah, Boston. This is perfect. This is ideal for what's going on right now. Boston versus Miami. That's on. That's coming on now, I think. And uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna drop their ass off. And this may be a little bit tough though, because they got Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. This may be a hard bout. Okay, so we are gonna rock and roll. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And um, we're about to get up out of here. You did me.